Kurt, it's great to be with you. It's great to be with you, Senator Cruz, and I have to give full disclosure here. Before I became affiliated with Salem, I used to give money to people. I gave money to you in your uh, presidential run. I think you would make a great president. And well, thank I, you, Kurt. You're, you're a man of wisdom, judgment, and discernment. No one has, literally no one has ever said that before about me, uh, Senator Cruz. Let me tell you something. I have, uh, I, I, I'd like to say I'm a brave man. It's not because I was in the Army for 27 years. I was tri retired in the United States Army Colonel. It's because my wife is a Cuban immigrant. And um, I'm, willing to face that, I'm willing to face that kind of heat. She actually literally said to me once, Kurt, you don't have enough guns. Uh, but that means that my family is very much in tune with what's happening in Cuba. Uh, we, you know, her relatives were locked up for the crime of advocating freedom. Of course, your family uh, came from Cuba as well. So I'd like to get your comments on this, this bizarre thug-hugging from Bernie Sanders. What is going on? Well, it, 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 it is ridiculous. It's offensive. Uh, and it's highly revealing. It reveals who Bernie Sanders is. He had a pattern his entire life kissing up to embracing, lionizing uh, communist dictators, uh, people who are murderers, who torture and oppress their people. Uh, and that, that ranges from Fidel Castro in Cuba to Daniel Ortega in Nicaragua to, to ch communist China to the Soviet Union uh, to Venezuela, to, to Nicolas Maduro and Hugo Chavez. If, if, if there is a left-wing dictator... Uh, Bernie has praise for them, and 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 I got to say, you know, you're talking about your wife being being Cuban American, when when he did his latest round of of love fest smooch on Fidel, uh, it made me sick. And so one of the things I did, you, you, you may have seen last month, I, I launched a podcast. Uh, we, I've we heard that. It right in the middle of impeachment, on the first day we started it. Every night we'd go and record it live. It, it's called Verdict with Ted Cruz, and it skyrocketed. It became the number one ranked podcast in the world in just a couple of weeks. We've had over four and a half million downloads. Now, the reason I bring that up, that, that, that I flew my aunt, my tia Sonia, in from Texas to come up to D.C., and we recorded the latest Verdict podcast last night. It should be coming out any moment now this morning, but, but she... She fought in the counter-revolution against Fidel Castro. My tia Sonia was thrown in prison and tortured by Castro's goon. She saw firsthand the poverty and misery and oppression and suffering of, of the Castro regime. And I'll tell you, in, in, in my Verdict podcast, I, I challenged Bernie to come and say that garbage to my tia Sonia and to all the others who suffered at the hands of this brutal communist dictator. Well, what about their literacy program, Senator Cruz? What about his literacy program? So, it, it, <laughs> it, you know, it's a weird, and that's what Bernie said. Well, he did a wonderful literacy program. No, actually what he did was an indoctrination program. And I know a lot about that because my grandmother, my, my, my Tia Sonia's mom, my dad's mom, she was a sixth grade teacher. And, and she was a teacher at the time that Castro took over. And, and they forced the teachers to, to teach communism, to indoctrinate them. Their job was to teach them to revere Fidel Castro like a god. And, and, and my grandmother, my abuela, refused to participate. Now, now, here's the problem. She couldn't quit. In the communist regime, you weren't allowed to quit. If you didn't want to be a school teacher, you didn't have the option of handing in a pink slip. That, 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 that you could be imprisoned or worse if you did that. So what my grandmother did is she feigned insanity. She, in class, began foaming at the mouth and running around like a crazy lady. And, and, and she got a friend who was a doctor to, 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 to uh, diagnose her as, as nuts, and that got her out of teaching. And, and you know, think about it. This is, this is late 1950s, 1959, 1960. She decided she would rather have the stigma, the shame of being considered a crazy lady than, than actually participate in indoctrinating and brainwashing children, which is what they were doing. No, there's nothing good about indoctrinating kids, and, and somehow when you're lining people up the firing squad and shooting them, it, it doesn't really help much of the people you're murdering may, may be able to read and write. You know, uh, Senator Ted Cruz, 
I, I'm so disgusted by this. I spent a lot of time in the military. I spent a lot of time overseas, uh, including serving in the ruins of communism. I, I, I served in Kosovo on one of my deployments. And I've seen it up close. My family's experienced it. And we have a whole generation who thinks uh, that socialism is sunshine, flowers, and rainbows. And instead, it's mass graves and ruined lives. And I'm, I am so disgusted by it. I, I am outraged. I can feel your outrage, and I'm looking forward to your verdict podcast with your Tia Sonia talking about her first cl- uh, first-hand testimony about the murderous nature of communism. Senator Cruz, we have um, here's the problem: we have a major political party in the United States on the verge of nominating someone who adheres to an ideology that has butchered 100 million people in the last century. That, that, that is exactly right. Uh, and and Bernie is right now the dominant runaway front runner in the Democratic primary. There have been three primaries, Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada. He's won all three. If he wins South Carolina, stick a fork in it, it's done. Now, it's possible someone, maybe Joe Biden, will eke it out. But Joe Biden is a dead man walking in this race. He is not going to be the nominee. The, the, the hard left has coalesced behind Bernie Sanders, that is terrifying. You know, there's some conservatives that are celebrating, saying, oh, isn't this great, because they, they, they think Bernie will be easy to beat. I, I am not excited about this at all, because the terrifying thing is this guy could get elected. And, and if we wake up, I think the American people are entirely capable of electing a wild-eyed socialist to be president, and, and most of the voters have no idea what that would entail, the massive damage. You're right, far too many young people, the schools don't teach them the, the misery and suffering, you know, my Tia Sonia talked about when Castro was coming to power, he made all of the same promises, free, free health care, free food, free education, free, and, and people are starving. They have nothing there. This economic yeah. system, everywhere socialism is implemented, it fails. It's a disaster. Senator Cruz, you know, only socialism could take a country full of Cubans and make it poor. I appreciate you coming on. There were a lot of things that I wanted to talk to you about today. I don't think anything's more important than this. Thanks a lot, Senator Ted Cruz. We will be right back on the Mike Gallagher Show. I am guest host Kurt Schlichter. <laughs> 